Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing out there? Can you believe we're supposed to get snow? I'm not really happy about this. The weather was really warm for a couple of weeks, and now they're talking about snow. Yeah. Can we opt out of that? You know? I don't know. Anyway. Today, I have a auction haul for y'all. So, go grab a snack and a drink and a chair, and let's see what I picked up from this auction, okay? Alrighty, I got a mix of things in this auction. Um, I got, uh, I mean, don't come across these very often, but it was in the auction and nobody bid on it, which was even more surprising. It's a piece of mola. It's got, you know, the complete, uh, information on it, but check that out. That is the second piece of mola that I have come across. The first one I got actually from a thrift store, which was surprising in itself. Um, and then, and this, um, because this was an auction, things are in um, box lots. So there are some things in here that weren't what I was bidding on, but nevertheless, I got. One was this horse. Don't know who the maker is. More than likely it's a, um, probably a Japan piece. So we got him. He was not what I was after. And it's been a while since I've looked at this lot. So um, I'm really far behind on processing things. Um, then, got this swan. It's backward facing. No idea who uh, made him. He's got nice, clear, polished bottom. And, what is this? Oh, okay. I was going to say, what is this? This is, like I said, in a box lot. So, this is Avon. And it's a little turtle. Now, someone used it as a candle. So, I'll be popping that wax out. But, it's a cute little trinket box. Again, not what I was after. Then there was this guy. Check him out. It's kind of cool. Probably a hobbyist piece. Very uh, mid century modern. And. Let's see. What else? Oh, this. I think, uh, trying to remember, could be Indiana glass, it might be the sunset pattern, but there was this cup, that was the dog getting mad at the cat for eating her food, I don't know. I got dogs who eat the cat food and cats eat the dog food. I don't know. So, I have that. And I, I believe, I'm pretty sure that there were two of those. Just check and see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just the one glass. And then, and then um, there was this piece. Which they labeled Ellie Smith. I don't believe this was Ellie Smith. I'm pretty sure this was a different maker on that, but I'll have to look back and see what I said about that. I want to say LG Wright is what I want to say, but I'll have to double check that. And let's see. Oh, no, there were two cuts. There were two. So here was the other one. So we had two of these. And I, like I said, I do believe these are Indiana glass, and I think it's the the sunset pattern on that. So we have that, and we have the carnival pieces were what I was going for. The other stuff just came along with it. <laughs> um, then this one, this is a piece of Fenton. Look at this. I mean, it's an older piece. And you can see the pattern. I believe um, is that the cherries pattern on this side and the Persian medallion on this side? I don't know what's going on with these dogs. I don't know. So... Anywho, with that, um, then there was another piece of Carnival glass. I'm not sure the maker, it could be Fenton, if it's Fenton, it's early Fenton. Here's this piece. I try to put this stuff in somewhat back <laughs> together because I'm going to need to wash it and get it ready to list. All of this will be coming to um, my Etsy store. So, um, but if you see something that you're interested in, you can always email me at buyoubellventiques at gmail.com. Um, it may take me a couple of days to get back with you because I, like I said, I do need to go back and confer with my notes on the makers of a couple of these pieces. Um, so, and in case you're wondering what I'm doing, there were a lot of smalls also. So I'm trying to kind of rearrange things to where I can show you the glass and then show you the smalls. Okay, and the last piece of Sunset Carnival. This one I may keep because I do collect Sunset Carnival is this piece. I just think that is gorgeous. So this one is probably staying with me. The cups, though, will be headed towards my Etsy until I get tired of it, and then we'll move on. <laughs> That's the case with everything. So I think those, um, some of those pieces also were in this lot which was the Holt Howard lot. So we had the little trinket or nut dish or I don't know. And we had the napkin holder. Check that out. So, so it's a matching set. Those will be headed to the Etsy shop. And, 
try to get some of this out of my way so we can look at these smalls. I have to apologize for not being a little more organized. Today is day. I always have my doctor's appointment, so it's a little, little hectic for me coming back than trying to film this while I do have my hair and makeup done. Because I will tell you, I'm usually a hot mess because I work from home and I don't need to be dressed up to see anybody. <laughs> Oh, this was also in that box lot. It's a um, uh, alabaster owl. Pretty cute. Very mid-century. Really nice piece. So, you will be coming up as well. All right. I think... We're somewhat under control. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, oh, man. Let me see. I don't, I'm not really sure how to show you some of this stuff, but I shall. I shall. Look at this pen. This is a celluloid pen. So would come apart right there. Um, I just thought that was beautiful, beautiful pen. Not really sure what they um, use those for. Is it like maybe a collar or something? Not really sure. And there's my cat. Probably the one that was eating um, the dog food. Who knows? Who knows? Alrighty. And I apologize. I probably could have done that a little quieter. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Alright, so this is a oops. Oh only. This is a one one, two, three, four. Four piece set, I guess. Okay. And I cannot see. Hmm. There is a maker on here and I have to I'm gonna have to research this one. So this is the bracelet. Beautiful. And then here are the screw back earrings that would match and I don't know if they go to this set or not but here are um, clip-ons that would match aren't those beautiful those are just so pretty I don't really see the pink milk glass and jewelry very often. And then here is um, sorry, I'm just trying to trying to stick this pen back in so I don't get. So I don't get poked. Anyway, there we go. And then here's the brooch, the matching brooch. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, just, I love, love those colors. I picked up a really cool um, jewelry tree thingy, real technical thingy. Um, it was a, it was supposedly was a store display. So I'm hoping um, to repurpose that to show jewelry um, like you would flowers on it. And then uh, 
And then there was this ring. It is missing a stone though. I have that one. And then um, I have to look, I haven't like looked at any of this jewelry closer. But then there was also this ring. It's like a, a lilac color. So I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Then there was also this presentation box with some goodies in it. Let's see if we can figure out. Um, so, I mean, the box says that genuine diamond does whatever that could mean. But in there is this pendant with the matching earrings which is not really a great way for me to show them there you go see there's a front and the back those are pretty cool so again something I've got to I'm going to have to research I need to start listing some jewelry people Really need to start looking at some of this stuff. It's got some really great pieces, but I need to research them and make some decisions on what I'm going to charge. So then I also got <clears throat> this bag, and it's mostly, um, I think, tie clips. Oh, yeah, even this one. Look at this one. Check that out. It's a tie clip. And there are there are some beautiful, beautiful cufflinks in here. Um, someone with a D. Um, there's some matching tie pens, what do you call them? Then there's some random things in here, like, look at this. And that's, that's glass. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I saw this. Um, Hmm. I have to dig around and see where the match is to this one. Look at these earrings. That's pretty. Uh, then there's like a fleur de lis cufflinks. And there's this atomic starburst cufflinks. Uh, and there's some, there's some like random pens in here also. And a random little brooch. to look at this looks like um copper charm and this is edgar johnson uh bracelet Says with love to Edgar from Ruth. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. So I'm thinking that could be silver. It's pretty tarnished. Um, 
And then there's a tie clip like that. And another older tie clip. So there's all kind of like little goodies in this bag. I mean, I don't know. These could be jade. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, so that's a, a bag of cufflinks and tie tacks <laughs> that I got. Um, there was also this bag. So, in that bag. Oh, this is really pretty. Um, and all this jewelry needs to be cleaned. There is a, I should have brought my loop, but I didn't do it. Didn't do it. Look at this little bracelet. It's kind of old. There we go. You get several different stones, but it does have a marking on it. Uh, I have to see. I have to see what that is. So we had that, and we had some fun little earrings. Um, I feel like a celluloid. They're definitely older. Um, they're little leaves. And, you know, like Alex was saying, the 80s are back. Those, those earrings that Golden Girls would have wore. Look at those. Those. Um, there is a rope. A rope chain that was in there. Uh, let's see. I think if I remember what I was after in this lot was not any of what you just saw. Um, oh, and there's this, um, geez. I think this is a Sarah Coventry, but it's like a bolo. Bolo style necklace. Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. That, um, another cool set, probably some 80s style earrings. Um, let's see, another set of earrings, more earrings, that. Um, uh, this is a, like a tie, like a pen. It's a tack, like, you know, one of those tack kind of pens. There's that. There's also this necklace in there. And one of these. And then what I was actually after in that lot were these. These are um, vintage stick pens. One's a micro mosaic from Italy. I'm not sure what that stone is. And then the, what do you call it? Celtic knot. So were those. And that was all the gold tone joy. I don't believe any of it's gold. Although it could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't looked at it close enough. I believe it's gold tone. And then we had this bag. And it was kind of funny when I picked up a lot. Um, they were asking me if I saw a certain object. And I... I can't recall off the top of my head, 
what it was, but I do remember I had looked at, I want to say it was a match, match holder or something, but it was a very specific kind of match holder. It was German and they go for a substantial amount of money. And, you know, as with anything, it's an auction. You bid to a certain point, And then I said, well, I, I didn't want to go any higher than that because honestly it was getting really too close to um, what I thought you could sell it for. Well, they lost it. Could not find the item. So they had to search through all my stuff to make sure they didn't accidentally give it to me. Um, so I, I don't know if they resolved that whole situation or not. So anyway, there's these little random bits and bobs. So we have a little bowling trophy, a little wood trophy that Alice got in 64. And then we have something that uh, Mary Beth would probably like. This is a brass dinosaur. Look at the patina on this guy. He is just awesome. <laughs> you think she would like that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Then, um, I like these little lot because they're just little bits and bobs. Um, there's this little uh, pen of a horse, and it's got... Dairy Cattle Congress, 1948, on it. But I always think these like make really cool junk jar kind of stuff. Um, there's a Frigidaire. Mm, there's um, all kinds of little advertisement in here. Some little Best Western and Bank matches. Um, oh, here we go. This is Katie. Some little needles. Um, let's see. Little Nash razor blades. So you can make a little junk drawer or a little jar like with, with, uh, health ephemera or whatever, and ow, I just poked myself, that hurt. Um, there's this, made in West Germany, and it poked me. So I'm guessing something probably went on the top of it. I don't know, but yeah, somebody will get my DNA. Um, then, there's a thermometer for a restaurant. Um, and there's some fake money with a money clip. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a, like a little whistle with a little drummer voice on it. I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff at all. Um, let's see. Oh, look at th this is, um, these are rolls for your cigarettes, paper to roll your cigarettes. Isn't that cool? And there is a teeny, teeny, teeny bunny cookie cutter. There are some really old wood dice in there. Although, you know, I probably should test that. It could, this one, I don't think it's wood. This could be Bakelite. I'll have to check that. Um, and there's, can't. St. Christopher, some kind of St. Christopher. Delio. There was Doctor or Nurse 
gold medal baby cream. Isn't that cute? I love that. Um, let's see, some more little advertisements. Um, again, that. There's a little um, tobacco plug bag. And this is like a little ruler from Riemann. I don't know. Company in Chicago. I am not saying that. <laughs> you can say it if you want. Oh, I wonder if this went on that compass thing. Oh. There was a Snoopy charm. It was in there. There was a. I, I have no idea what this is. So it looks like it was probably wrapped around something. So there was that. There's a mini uh, harmonica. Probably a charm or something. Japan. There's a Coca-Cola little mirror. And just some random group of little odds and ends, little numbers, and parks and rec. is some kind of tickets lucky ticket seven I don't I don't know I don't know these things um a probably a union pen and I think peso Looks real. I don't know. No idea. Some little dairy tokens. Oh, a little uh, from Wiesbaden. A little mirror. Used to live in Wiesbaden. And then just random clock key Schlitz bottle opener. So that is what was in that little lot. So, I hope you um, enjoyed that. Um, it was a little fun array, something a little different. Um, so I'm probably at some point going to make some junk jars. Yeah, a few pieces. I probably should look up and just make sure that it makes sense. Um, I don't know. I love advertisement. I have a weakness for it. So, but as usual, if there's anything that you saw that you're interested in, feel free to email me at Bayou Bells Antiques. Um, like I said, I still have to process this stuff. Um, so, I don't have any decisions yet on how I'm going to um, list the jewelry um, other than that one piece of glass uh, everything will be headed to my eBay store so with that I hope you guys have an amazing weekend okay bye y'all